Let's talk about an abrupt varactor diode or a variable capacitance diode or a very cap. Now I'm going to use the MV2107 and you can vary the capacitance on that between about 19.8 uh, and 24.2 uh, picofarads. Now all diodes uh, have capacitance. Here's a diode down here. It's, uh, it's got a, a PN junction. Now silicon has four electrons in the outer orbit and the P side we dope it with material that has three electrons something like boron that leaves holes over here and then the end material we dope it with a material that has uh, five electrons in the outer orbit something like arsenic. Now this forms a depletion region with positive ions on the negative side and negative ions on the positive side and uh, there's no free carriers in there so current can't flow in there. When you forward bias a diode it takes about 0.7 volts to break this barrier down but when you reverse bias it it takes up to about uh, 30 volts to break that down. This region increases when you reverse bias the diode. Now you've got two conductors and this depletion region is our dielectric and if we put a positive voltage on this negative side over here we reverse bias the, the uh, diode this depletion region gets larger and the capacitance will go down. So the PN junction of a diode forms a depletion region. This region acts like a dielectric when the reverse biased, the width of the depletion region increases and the capacitance decreases. So we're going to try to use this to uh, uh, modulate a FM frequency. Okay, so I've got a Schmidt trigger set up over here. It's set like a, a Colpitts oscillator, uh, two capacitors and, a, and an inductor, and we center tap the capacitors. This is our feedback into the Schmidt triggers here. That's what makes it oscillate. Now, I have, I have the, uh, the diode set up over here, and I'm reverse biasing it. Now, this, I'm putting the same 5 volts that I'm putting on the uh, Schmidt trigger into here, and uh, through this uh, 10K pot here. Now, the voltage, the DC voltage won't get through this uh, capacitor here back into my Schmidt trigger, and it can't go this way because I'm reverse biasing it. And the uh, one mega ohm resistor is so that nothing. Uh, I try to, I trying to isolate this circuit over here. Eventually, I'm going to tie a, some kind of audio circuit into there to modulate the uh, the FM frequency. So, this uh, MV2107 here it is right here. The flat side here, uh, the the anode A is on this side and the cathode is on this side. This K for cathode. Uh, we use that because the C was used for collector in, in CAD originally, so uh, we use a K for cathode. So, I, I have a setup like this. I'm just going to reverse bias this uh, diode here. It's going to it's going to decrease the capacitance and change the, the frequency. So, here's my setup right here. I'll zoom in on that. Uh, to get you a closer look. There we go. Now we're going to go over to the uh, scope and see what it looks like. See if we can vary the frequency. Here we are at the scope. Now I'm at uh, 90 uh, megahertz in the uh, FM radio frequency band. And I'm going to try to vary the capacitance on this thing. There we go. Uh, 90.6 90.7, 90 90.8, 90 90.9, 90 91. So now to modulate the FM frequency, I only have to go about uh, uh, 200 uh, kilohertz. So uh, this thing's going to be fine. I'm taking it down to uh, 89. So um, it's, it's going to work fine. And I'll see if I can make a little uh, transmitter out of it. Uh, great, thank you.